Hello guys, welcome to learning microcontrollers. In this video, I'm going to show you, uh, this is the second part of the UART library video. In the previous part, I showed you how you can send and receive character to perform various tasks. In this part, I will show you how you can send and receive text or long strings, not only characters. So let's get started. So guys, let's first get to the Proteus and set up our hardware. So this is the Proteus schematic. Here you go to the components and write down. Let me zoom in for you. Okay, here you write down PIX 16 F877A. Here you go. Place it anywhere on the screen. Then uh, go to the terminals. Here you have this virtual terminal. We are going to use this for demonstration purpose. Okay, and TX of your pick will go to the RX of the terminal and RX of your pick will go to the TX of the terminal. TX to RX, RX to TX. Now we get to our micro C4 pick. This is the micro C4 pick. Let's get to the start page. File, click on file. I am using the version 7.2.0. You can also use the latest versions as well. This is also a good version. Okay, this you this window pops up, new project wizard, click on next, write the name of the project, whatever the project name you prefer, UART library text learning microcontrollers. This is the name I wrote, pick 16 f 7 is the one I'm using and 20 megahertz is the crystal I'm using. Click on next and finish. So this will lead you to this window. Here the first thing you must do is save your project. Press Ctrl S to save your project. Now guys go to the right in the library manager. You expand this and at the bottom you have UART this. Expand the UART this will lead you to this window also check mark this library. Here in the previous video I had shown you guys that how you can use a UART one read, INIT, data ready, TX idle commands and write command but they were for the character now we are going to use with the go with these remaining two commands that is urt1 read text and the write text so guys first of all we initialize the urt1 so go for the urt1 init command in the example here you have this example you copy this command paste it in the one time loop here now as it describes that it initializes the hardware urt1 established as the communication at 9600 bps this means that this is the command Syntax UART1 INIT. If your microcontroller has like in PIC18 uh, F46K22 microcontroller, it has two UART ports. So you will have two options UART1 and 2. In our case, we have only one UART port in PIC16 F77A. So we will write UART1 and this is the border and it depends upon the sensor or module which are you are going to interface with your microcontroller. Border of both the receiver and the transmitter must be the same. Like if you have some uh, touch screen which works at 115200 bordered, then you will change the border here. And in case it's just 9600, like in case of HC12 module that works by the border at 9600, then it must be 9600. Now we give some initialization delay. 100 will do fine. Now we go to our forever loop. Now, first of all, we will need a character variable which will store the data coming from the uh, from the sensor or in our case virtual terminal for that we make a array of jar like rec one and the letters it can have is like 11 letters at a time so this is a rec one and array of jar is a string so this is a string of maximum 10 characters 0 to 10 that is 11 characters sorry maximum 11 characters so guys now we go to our forever loop and to the right we go to our UART1 data ready command. So we copy this from here. This command is only used whenever uh, it starts here and ends here. Now whenever the data is coming, like a data is coming and you don't know that the data is coming. How your controller will know that data is coming? In case if the data has arrived to that Rx buffer, only then it will go inside this loop. Else if you remove this, still your program is going to work. But the problem is it will keep on reading data all the time, slowing down your processing. So you must use this command. 
so this is a command which will make sure that the data has arrived in the buffer and now you will read the text for that go to this uart1 read text command double click on it like this now this is the read text command this command you copy it till here now it says that uart1 read text and this is the buffer here you will use your uh, variable this will store the data that is received and this is the delimiter now this is very important this delimiter means that whenever a data is sent it must end with this character i make it like bh any data ending with bh will be received rest of the data will not be received if a bh is arrived only then that packet will be received other packets will not be received so this is a delimiter uh, normally we use delimiters like slash r so in case any line or a sentence or a word coming from the sender has a slash r in the end that will be received while the rest of them will not be and this is the attempt so maximum it should make 10 attempts to receive the data see it also says it read text until ok is found so i had changes to slash r so it will be like slash r is found now guys uh, whatever is read how we should know whatever is read in our demonstration we will display it on the screen we also use the re uart write text command here but remember that do not use the write text command directly it will slow down your code always use this tx ideal buffer in case your transmitter buffer is empty only then it will allow the data, data to be written so you use it within this here and it will end here now in case your tx buffer is ideal that the transmitter buffer is ideal and it has a capability of sending the data only then it will go inside this loop if you remove it still your code will work but the problem will be it will also display ragback values because there will be some other ragback values in the buffer which will cause your program also to slow down so for that now we write the text uart1 write text command this command will write the text on the screen or on the terminal whatever you are using in our case it's a terminal this command now what it should write whatever is received in the receive one from the terminal like this so what this program is going to do is that it whatever the data we write on the terminal it and write slash r in the end that file will it is like this will be like an enter key like normally you are writing something you press enter and it goes similarly it will be a slash r we write slash r and it will be entered and then whatever whatever is received is stored in this variable and it will do 10 attempts to see if the data is still coming or not you can increase it as well and then whatever is received this command uart1 write text will send it to the virtual terminal again now see that this text word here and here this is the difference see if you don't write this text like uart1 read only it means that only a character will be read not the text if you send a text only the first word will be read rest of it it will discard but when you use this command it will look for the delimiter this when whenever the delimiter is found it will take the characters till that delimiter and then it will store it in this buffer that is maximum of 11 if you have a longer sentence you can give make it bigger like 512 600 512 400 whatever the buffer you want so guys let's build this and burn it into our microcontroller and see what happens so it gives an error sorry uh, i forgot to write 10 so there is no error now we get to our proteus and see what happens now i select the code double click on the proteus set the crystal we are having 20 megahertz crystal now we go to the new codes and this is the code we wrote click on ok click on run now this is our terminal as you can see now see i write one two three four five nothing is sent now i write slash r see one two three four five is sent when the slash r is pressed see i am writing random values on my keyboard nothing is sent but as soon as i write slash r see these values are sent i write random value nothing is sent but now i press slash r see whatever is behind it is sent now i write 8907 
now I press slash R. See, 8907 is sent. will also show you the keyboard now so you can see that it's 8907 here okay uh, let me bring it here see that now I write Q W Q W E R C nothing is sent now I write slash now I write slash or slash or see whatever it was now it's sent see else it was not sent. Now I write some random values like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So you can see that on the terminal you can see nothing. ZX, CV, ASD, nothing is sent. Now I write slash R. Whatever the last values will be, will be sent. See? Now again I write Q, W, E, R, T, Y slash R. See they are sent. Now again let me show you. I write some random values like Z, X, C, V, B, N, M. Nothing is sent. But now as soon as I write slash R, see they are sent. Now again I do is that I write L, K, J, G, H, anything as I like. You can see that the values are not sent. Now as soon as I write slash R, see those values are sent. So guys, this is how this URT text commands work. I hope you guys learned something from this video. Thank you very much for your time and have a nice day.